Linda Stern here at the Stern Family Art Collection. In today's episode, we're going to learn about an extremely important California Impressionist, William Wendt, sometimes referred to as the Dean of Laguna Beach Artists. Uh, William Wendt was born in Germany in 1865, but he passed away in Laguna Beach in 1946 as really one of the most revered artists in our local area here. Now here's John Stern to give you a lot of good information about this important artist. Thank you, Linda. As you said, he was born in Germany and he came to Chicago as a young man in 1880 and got a job in one of these painting factories uh, where they literally just painted work but signed any name but their own. And these were just sold as, as just commercial junky type of art that people might hang in their ho homes. So while he was in Chicago, he met George Gardner Simons, another young artist who would later become also one of the great California Impressionists, and they began painting together. And they traveled to England and they traveled um, to California and they painted in Laguna Beach together um, very early on, sometime about 1905. But in 1906, Wendt married the sculptor Julia Bracken and the two of them made a very powerful team of artists, uh, one being a very good painter, the other being an excellent sculptor. They quickly became um, important members of the Los Angeles art community, and they were both founders, among the founders, of the California Art Club in 1909. Uh, prior to the California Art Club, there was a a small club called the Painters Club in Los Angeles <clears throat> and it was men only and it didn't last long and in 1909 they reformed the club and one of the founders was Julia Wendt so they they made no provisions about who could be a member it was open to everybody. <clears throat> Wendt served as president early on he wasn't the first president um, and not much happened in the first couple of years but when he came to be president, he began organizing exhibitions and the club really took off starting in 1911. In 1918, the Wentz moved to Laguna Beach and, and bought a home there in studios and, and set up um, their, their own studios. <coughs> they, they were also asked to help found the Laguna Beach Art Association um, really organized by Edgar Payne and his wife Elsie, but William and, and um, his wife um, were, Julia, were very much involved in the early years of the Laguna Beach Art Association. And uh, eventually the Laguna Beach Art Association became um, the Laguna Beach Museum, and at least the gallery they were in. And when they kind of um, went out of business, the Art Association in 1972. Um, not long after that, in 1996, the Laguna Plein Air Painters Association was formed. So they kind of took up the tradition of painting on plein air. Now this little painting is a very important little painting. And it is by William Wendt. It's called Early Moonrise and it was painted in 1922. This is a, um, a piece that's very much into the history of the Laguna Beach Art Association. Um, it was founded again in 1918 and their first exhibition space was the Old Town Hall, which had been um, just abandoned because the council moved to a bigger, uh, more important building. So this town hall was vacant. The Laguna Beach Art Association took it over and fixed it up and it became a place where they exhibited. But it was too small after a while because it became very popular. A lot of important artists uh, exhibited there. So in, in 1920, the Art Association um, expanded by becoming a nonprofit organization 
and they started a series of sales uh, to raise money so they could build a permanent home and a permanent exhibit hall. In 1922, Anna Hills became president of the Laguna Beach Art Association and her first term was 1922 to 1925. She had a second term from 1927 to 1930, the year she died. Uh, she and led the movement to build a permanent home and they went and talked to a man named Howard Heisler, of, after whom Heisler Park in Laguna Beach is named, and uh, he owned um, everything in Laguna Beach from the canyon or, or from Broadway uh, into North Laguna. He had bought that land in 1905 from James Irvine. It was part of the Irvine Ranch. The dividing, dividing line was the canyon, which uh, became uh, Broadway. So they agreed to, to buy the land. He offered them a half price for the land, so they started raising money. And um, they had several exhibitions, and one of them in 1922 was a sale of miniature paintings. <clears throat> and all the artists were asked to submit a miniature painting uh, that could be sold very inexpensively, uh, pretty much like what the Laguna Plein Air painters are doing right now with their little five by seven sale. But this is one of the paintings. This one is by William Wendt, and um, it, on the back of the painting, if I can get that, there's all the information, it, and that handwriting belongs to Anna Hills. So this is apparently one of the paintings that did not sell, or either that or Anna Hills bought it, and it stayed in her estate uh, for many years after she died, and sometime about 1990, 1995, my brother George, George Stern, um, bought a part of the Anna Hills estate, and this was one of them. So naturally, in being my brother, I got a great deal on, on the painting, and um, it is uh, one of my um, most favorite paintings in our collection. They raised the money eventually. They bought the land, which is at the corner of Broadway and Cliff Drive, I'm sorry, of Laguna, of Coast Highway and Cliff Drive, which is where the, the Laguna Art Museum now is. So they opened, in 1929, the Laguna Beach Art Association opened what they called the Laguna Art Gallery, which was a place where they could show and sell their work. And the Laguna Art Gallery was a, a very important part of the early town of Laguna Beach. And eventually it kind of got surpassed by, by more modern art artists that came to Laguna in the 1960s and 70s. Uh, the Laguna Be Beach Art Association sort of disappeared about 1972. The building was taken over and renamed the Laguna Art Museum. So this is part of the um, founding of the Laguna Art Museum, this little painting in 1922. We have here a um, book by William Wendt that was published by the Irvine Museum and by the Laguna Beach Artists, Laguna Beach Museum in association for a big exhibition that we did. And um, this can be bought um, on the irvinemuseum.org website. Irvine Museum is one word, .org. Or it could be bought from other booksellers if you, if you want. But this is full of beautiful pictures, and I'm just going to open one of them here. And these are paintings by William Wendt of his earlier style. And there is a definite early period for William Wendt. Very soft, gentle, very impressionistic, a feathery brushstroke, lots and lots of deep space. Uh, very gentle, beautiful, softly painted paintings. As he matured, he began painting in a flatter, more blocky style. There's angularity to the trees and angularity to the clouds. And this is his mature style when he was um, best known for. So he continued to paint till the mid thirties and he wasn't uh, real healthy and uh, he 
stopped painting sometime about 1935, and he died in 1946. So this is William Went. Isn't that interesting? Look at that view of Laguna Beach back in when? 1930 sometime? Well, that's when you should have bought that house, Linda. Yeah, I wonder what that lot would have sold for back then. Oh, well. But that was Laguna Beach when it was really a quaint artist colony um, in the early part of the uh, 20th century. Anyway, it sure is interesting how he changed his style and the paintings took on a more modernistic, blockish style late in his life when he had been a really true Impressionist early in his life. But he was very important to California art scene and, and the California Art Club, which we've said before is still operating today. And by the way, has their gold medal exhibition starting this weekend. And this year, unfortunately, the gold medal uh, show will be online only. It'll be a virtual show and everyone can see it at the Calif uh, CaliforniaArtClub.org website. You'll be able to see the gold medal show. And I, we urge everybody to take a look. The paintings are for sale. And that club, more than 100 years later, is a legacy of this important artist, William Went. So that's our lesson for today. I hope everybody enjoyed learning about William Went and the Laguna Beach Art Association and his connections even to modern day artists who really are the continuation of the art scene here in Laguna. So also remember to go to the Laguna Beach Plein Air Painters Association website and look at the auction that's going on right now to help um, help the artists who are suffering right now mm -hmm. and the organization. And we urge everybody to participate. And it's your chance to buy a small painting, a five by seven painting and become a collector at a very reasonable price. Anyway. Yes, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm, good idea, Linda. Uh, I forgot to say, this is four by six inches. So if you go on the La Papa Laguna Beach Plein Air Painters, they're five by seven. They're even bigger than they're this. They're a little bigger. And think, a hundred years from now, that painting could become just as important as this little painting is today. Thanks again for tuning in. We sure appreciate it. Enjoy art, become a collector, and we'll see you again at Art with the Stearns. Bye-bye.